I drilled my hand. Yes, I drilled my hand. All right guys, welcome back to the videos for today. What I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start working on the back fenders. Now, listen to me real fast. I haven't started the cutting process on the rear fenders, so don't know what I'm doing. We're back to the reset point of not knowing what we're doing, so we're just gonna, just gonna full send it. All right, let's go grab the car, move it up into the garage, and start on the, today's video. Welcome back to the Wide Body Episodes, boys. I'm hyped you're here. And I girls. And girls, I hope you love me, because I love you. Damn, Dad, you looking good today. Okay, let's... I'm still wearing your shorts. Really? Yeah. They're comfortable, huh? Yeah. Let me pull the e-brake. Because I slept in them. Put it first. Got a tail light. Bet, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Want to put something on TV? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even hurt, bro. All right. That felt so good to do that. Fender, dude. I kind of want to frame it. <laughs> no, what? You weirdo. Oh, is that weird? Yeah. I wasn't even thinking about doing that. First things first, let's line up a body kit and start cutting. What? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright everybody, time for just a little update. I have these two pieces bolted together like we've been doing, okay? It kind of helps you line out everything that you need. I have put on my will. I then took a straight edge right here just to make sure um, we'll clear the will. If anything, right here it gets really slim. I'm just going to cut through the first layer of metal as far as I know. Um, I then drew out my lines. That is the line of the body kit. On the rear, you do not need to cut as much um, just because of this reason and the back already sits pretty low. So now I'm going to take this wheel off, um, pull back this fender liner a bit and kind of look up in here and see what's going on. And then, and then we'll get to this part. So let's do that. This is my third cookie so far out of the package. My goal by the end of this video is to finish the whole box. We're gonna finish the whole box of cookie today, boys. Let's go, let's go. Looking like a dad. The Dremel is working so much better for this project just because I'm able to not hit the back sheet of metal so we can bend it up and weld it. While we were at the Lowe's the other day, I caught some more Dremel wheels. Look how much that got grinded down. I mean, it pretty much lasted my whole fender, but I'm gonna go through a lot of these. I copped some more, so we're good. I'm gonna grab them. Okay, everybody. <laughs> I have hit a point where it's time to update you guys. I also have lost my left hand glove. I have my right one, but my left one, I have no idea where it went. I figured it would be within a five foot radius of me. It's gone. Literally gone. How, bro? How? What the fuck? Anyways, update time, guys. Check this out. So, I have the rear quarter panel cut up. Looks absolutely insane. I cut the top layer off. Use the Dremel. I also use this too. Just kind of depending on what I needed at the moment. I have started cutting the niches to then bend it up and weld it closed. There's a problem. On the other side, I'm not gonna cut this far back because of look how big that hole is. 
Wow. I'm only gonna cut to about right here and cut it off like that. I didn't think of that, but I also have extra scrap metal over there. I could use to patch it unless I can fit it enough to bend up and weld. We're gonna kinda have to see how it goes. Other than that, guys, another crazy freaking move for today's episode, but we're moving along here. We're gonna continue this, and it's gonna be awesome when it's done, so it's like 100% worth it. Okay, other than that, let's finish cutting this, getting it all figured out, and then we will mount the kit on the car, and it's going to look so sick. Let's go. Oh, baby, let's go, boys. Check this out. I now have slits all the way up into this point, guys. This is working very nicely. Now you take these and just start bending them up and we are going to tack weld it to the fender. Let's go. I like throwing these gloves down like, yo, you don't need the glove no more, bitch. What's she doing, dog? You going to ship some orders? Yep. Ooh, let's go. What colors are in there? We got maroon. Yeah. And we got safety orange. Nice. Let's go, bro. He's going to ship out orders. Love the shirt. Looks clean. Hey, yo, is Gabby coming over? Yeah, probably. Anyways, uh, Gabby is Stone's girlfriend, and she's a welder, which happens to be perfect in line for the body kit. She's actually going to weld my fenders, so I'm wondering when she's going to come over because I kind of want her advice for that hole and kind of maybe get what she's thinking on it, but I might just FaceTime her or something. I don't know if you guys can see this, but I melted my screen with all the sparks. I did not realize it was hitting it. Now, there's a bunch of dots on my screen, and... And I don't have a screen protector on, so it's permanent. Just screwed up my phone. Hell yeah, but respect the drip. All right, everybody, I'm gonna have to interrupt this video to do another weekly shout out. Today's weekly shout out is Christian. Christian has a personal blog on his 2013 Ford Focus SE. This thing looks totally sick, and I am super hyped you have this car in the car community. With that being said, if you guys would like your build shouted out on one of my videos, at River underscore Sanders on your Instagram stories or comment below, I will be picking from either or. Thank you guys so much, and let's get back into the video. So what is happening right here is I should have not cut like that. I didn't really know, but in the making of fixing it, this is how we are going to do it. I'm gonna cut the slits in this line, and then I have drew a stencil, I cut it out of the fender with the scrap metal that we have, and this piece, literally, I can't believe I did it so good, but I have it perfectly fitted for right here. We're gonna weld it on, grind it all out, and basically reattach it causing their space to pretty much relocate this and act as if this was the fender itself. So let's go ahead, let's finish our slits right here and we will be good. This is pretty much how it's going to finish out. Looks nice and clean. <laughs> oh my God. No, it does not, but it will look nice and clean when we're done. So let's continue boys. <laughs> let's continue. It's to that point of the video where I'm absolutely exhausted. My dad glasses are on, my mask is half, it's broke. All right, it's not broke. So V, what are you doing? Do a little update or something. Um, River taught me how to be a pro skater. True, I did. I learned it, my first ollie. She learned how to ollie. On the other hand, I have the full back piece all the way done. Oh my gosh, look at that line work. Oh my gosh, River, you're such a gangster. And then I have it all the way down to here, riveted. It's looking amazing. The only thing I'm wondering is how to keep this part from moving. So I'm gonna take a hole. Oh my gosh, I still have my glasses on. I was wondering why it was orange out here. So I'm gonna take a, a hole, put a hole right there, and then put another bolt, and that will keep it from moving. And then all I have left is the door piece, but I am absolutely exhausted and tired, and I do not want to do that piece right now. So, and of course, I drilled my hand. Yes, I drilled my hand. You ever done that before? I didn't think so. Oh, another quick update on the cookies. I told you we're trying to go through one pack in one day. Uh, that's where we're sitting. Sophie, contribute. Thank you. Thank you. River, contribute. contribute. Thank you, brother. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, all right, let's go.
Don't forget to sand your success. Yes, Aline. All right, everybody, that is going to have to end it for today. We'll pick this back up tomorrow, and we'll continue the wide body series, guys. It's coming along well. It's going to be done soon. Let's go.